Hey there, Fit Fam. Michael here at MorelliFit.com. And in this video, as the board says, we are going to discuss protein consumption and specifically the most critical times to get in your protein. Now, I could really make a short video and say, okay, you need to consume it all day long because the truth of the matter is, is you need to get protein in at every single meal. For me, it's like 25 to 30 grams every single meal. And sometimes it's even more than that. Um, so, so protein really is a must, you know, from, uh, from the, uh, the regeneration of the muscle tissue to the recovery. Um, it's really the muscle building block of it all. And women, I get this all the time. You know, I get questions from, from women, especially, is it okay to take a protein supplement? I don't want to get big and bulky. Please, you don't have the hormones and the genes to get big and bulky uh, overnight, especially. You know, if you train and you take all these crazy supplements and stuff like that, maybe, all right? But it's going to take you a long time. Protein is essential for all of us. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the most, the three most critical times to take protein. Because let's face it, not everybody can get uh, protein in throughout the day. So there's three times where it's an absolute must. The first time is breakfast. All right, I get emails all the time from people, and they say. Uh, here's my breakfast. What do you think? And let me just hear. So I get this is the one I get the most. All right, I got. I had some oatmeal with some cinnamon and some fruit in there, and I had two slices of toast. When I get this email, I want to just like pull all my hair out because, come on, we're. I, first of all, this is like. Uh, I mean, fine, carbs, no, you know, not all carbs are bad, but first of all, toast, uh -uh, a little bit of oats is fine, but where's the protein? Where's the healthy fats? This is just like a, come on, no, no, no. So what do we need here? We need eggs. All right, here's some good ideas. We need eggs. We need bacon, lean, some lean bacon, some turkey bacon, um, some avocado. Gosh, I suck at spelling. Avocado, we, uh, some, a handful of nuts. Come on, people. This is what we need, not this, all right? You start out with this, and let me tell you, your energy and your mood for the day, psh, through the roof. This causes problems, all right? This, boom, crash, all right? That's what happens. Stick to this in the, in the morning. Again, we're looking for 30 grams protein. All right, number two, post-workout, essential, all right? Everybody says you only have 30 minutes. I don't know. Studies say that it's a little bit longer than that. As long as you get this in, I, th I, think, I think you've got 45 to 60 minutes post-workout to get in protein. You want to make sure that you get in some good carbs, too, uh, to, re to replace those glycogen stores. But um, make sure you get your protein in post-workout. And number three, before bed. All right, really quickly here. People ask me all the time, what about casein? Ooh, do your research. That's all I got to say, all right? I've taken it. It made me break out in hives. Um, now, I'm not saying that's going to do that to everybody. I'm not saying it's going to do that to you. Um, but do your research. Casein is like the stuff they put in glue, all right? <laughs> Look up casein, the effects of casein, what's in casein. You should be doing this before you put anything in your body, right? Make sure you know what, what's going in your body, all right? So I don't do casein. What I've been doing is I've been doing some full fat yogurt and um, a scoop of protein. Now, I, sometimes I toss in some, uh, some blueberries. Um, and that, that usually, that's, that's my before bed sort of concoction. I always use, if we're talking about protein here, I might as well throw it out there. I always use a grass-fed whey. The stuff that I use has like seven ingredients in it. Um, I believe that, uh, you know, you go quality here. If you don't have access to a grass-fed whey, grab a protein, grab an isolate, um, just as good. Um, to, to spill the beans here, I've got a primal body supplement line coming out hopefully by January. Um, I've sort of been on hush-hush, but it's getting close enough now where I've got a manufacturer and we're customizing the formula and the taste and we're going through the whole, the whole shebang to deliver what I believe is going to be the best protein supplement on the planet. All right, so, so that's that. So the, the, the takeaway here is this, all right, breakfast, post-workout, uh, before bedtime, the three most important times. However, it's still critical to take it throughout the day if you can at every meal. Um, a good rule of thumb here that I've said if you haven't seen my other videos is one gram, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now, that's a, that's a, a very subjective, right? So, you know, you could use 0.8 to 1.2 per gram of, uh, of, 
uh, per pound of body weight. Now, if you're over 25% BMI, that changes. We have to take a look at the lean body mass as opposed to uh, just your body weight. So there's some things that are different there. Um, but anyway, here, breakfast, you got this. Good, that's what I got for you. Listen, if you thought it was useful, hit the thumbs up for me. Uh, that's how I know how to continue to, uh, to create these videos for you. Um, and then just be patient, man. We, we were in this together. You know my hashtag. You know, you know it's let's get fit together. It's that way for a reason. We are truly stronger in numbers, and I believe that. So with that, listen, have an awesome day, and take care.